This is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM, brought to you via YouTube. And it would be fabulous if you subscribed to our YouTube page, with the promise in the future that at different times we'll have subjects that are only available to those who subscribe. So please, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's easy. Click the subscribe button. And at the same time, click the like button too. The 37-year-old Thai man caught on CCTV leaving the scene of a vicious assault on a Russian lady at Pattaya's Lake Mapachan and having confessed to police has been re-arrested by Nong Pru police after the victim has recovered sufficiently to make a statement implicating him in the attack on her, which took place as she jogged through a dangerous and totally unlit part of the lake's jogging and cycling circuit. Now formally charged and held in detention following an outburst of disdain from Thais and non-Thais alike, he's pled guilty at the Patia Provincial Court to assault and bodily harm, but denies other charges of committing indecent acts and intent to abuse. The lady, who we prefer not to name in any way, is said to have recovered sufficiently and been medically examined to assert that she's competent now to make a statement. Previously released by the police, who claimed that they couldn't prosecute him, without her statement, that caused a legal wrangle amongst experts. Now Nong Pru police are expected to send him for detention prior to his trial to avoid him being able to re-enter society and perhaps attack again. In this case, at least, the lady managed to fight back and escape. There's no word as to others who may have fallen victim to him in the past. As of June, Thai nationals, not visitors, are no longer required to apply for and complete the online Thai Pass system. This is the Thai Pass will only then check for insurance cover for visitors, a minimum of US$10,000 cover for COVID, which isn't a requirement for Thai nationals, who automatically qualify for the national health system here. For visitors, the Pass system will issue an instant QR code once the few requirements are met, making tourism much, much easier for travellers coming here. The weekly review of diesel prices at the pumps in Thailand has seen the Oil Fuel Fund Board confirm that for the near future at least, diesel will be held at the current 32 baht a litre. This obviously only applies to regular diesel and not super premium versions, but for hauliers it's excellent news, as their prices will remain the same, resulting, it's hoped, in a slowdown of price hikes in stores and by manufacturing companies. Without subsidies, the price would currently be 38 baht, Meanwhile at home and in our own region, this morning the province reported just 84 new cases of COVID discovered through PCR testing and 948 through ATK. Nationally the figures were 4,144. As the We Love Pantia team celebrate a victory in the election for City Hall and the Mayor's position, election officials are investigating reports of missing ballots, along with what are described as excessive ballots in at least one zone. Only just over 38,000 people actually voted from the 70-plus thousand qualified to vote here in the city, which is also an indication of the massive percentage of Thai residents here who were not registered in the city but in their hometowns, making most ineligible to vote. Local expats here on so-called COVID extensions, which have been issued to date by immigration due to the epidemic and a lack of available flights in the past, are in for a surprise as the programme is likely to be ended in the next few weeks. Those who claimed to be stranded here were able to avoid the usual requirements for extensions of stay, getting 60 days at a time, as a courtesy, which is now obviously unnecessary. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 29 degrees, dropping down to 26, and a very good chance of rain at any time, local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or program, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.